Uh, yes, hello Alfred, this is Ray and in this short video I just wanted to go over with you some tips on how to manage your new website. Uh, this is your website here. Uh, this is the home page. On the home page you have a welcome message and you also have a scrolling uh, slideshow of various different featured products and as well as the slideshow we also have a space here for the coupon and I thought this would be a good thing to put um, you can tell me what you want this to say and I'd be glad to quickly touch it up for you but you could for example offer this as a way to link to a page where you can offer people a 20 percent off coupon if they sign up to your newsletter things of that nature tell me what you want this to say and I'll update it for you right away but basically the philosophy is that people will land on the site they'll see your uh, featured products on the slideshow they'll see any special offers you have and then they also see all of the latest products now this home page is dyna dynamically updated meaning that this will update as you add products without you having to worry about it and as you add products um, your latest products will uh, display here as well automatically with the newest ones replacing the ones currently there so the home page will automatically update itself now on, the, on every page you always are going to have uh, your shopping cart and links to your categories uh, and for example girls dresses, girls tops, shoes, uh, boys clothing, toys, whatever you want you can set up categories and again we end off uh, with a nice little link we can have an, another incentive such as you could start a newsletter and uh, tell people that if they subscribe to your newsletter they could get some additional savings emailed out to them so I just want to put this up down here as a way for you to brainstorm on what kind of offer or newsletter you can have and we can link this up so aside from these couple minor touches such as this home page coupon I need you to tell me what you want that to say exactly and also this bottom uh, banner area if you want to lead to a specific page or if you want to offer a savings let me know what you'd like that to say I could also remove those two items completely but um, I would say take a few minutes brainstorm what you want there in their place it's a very good opportunity for you to do some advertising cross promoting get a newsletter started anyways um, let me go ahead and now show you how to edit your website. Your website is made up of really two components. Um, it's made up of pages uh, such as the About Us page and it's made up of products. Now let's click on About Us. This is basically an About Us page. You can edit what you want on this page um, and you also have products. Now let's go ahead and click on just any random product. We'll click here and this is a product page so pretty much your website consists of content pages and products now what you want to do is log into your back panel I've already given you uh, through your uh, I've emailed you your logins so you should have those already all you do is enter your logins in and when you log into the back panel you'll see this is your dashboard very very simple Alfred um, I'm tried to uh, what I did after setting up the website is I, I decided to use the WordPress backend, the WordPress visual editor, um, and, and incorporate that into the site so that you have a very easy, intuitive way of editing your website. So let's say you want to edit a page, such as the About Us page. Simple. All you do is go to All Pages, find the page you want to edit. In this case, it would be the About Us page. And if you've ever used Microsoft Office, if you ever used, uh, for example, Word or WordPerfect, this should see, seem very familiar to you. Couple key notes. Always be in the Visual tab, never in the HTML. Visual should always be shaded. And you should always have two rows of buttons. In this case, we only have one row. So what you do in, in, in the case that you have only one row of buttons, is click down here and the second one will drop. You want to click on this icon and the second row will appear. Now, everything else, such as the page attributes and everything in this area right here below the update button, leave alone. Don't, uh, don't mess with any of these settings. But what you do is you simply add text. So, for example, you can add text. You can make text bold. You can make text different color. You can italicize. 
You can even link to other web pages or websites or even link to existing pages of your website. See? Um, you can also add images if you'd like to add an image to your page. Now again, this is very similar to uh, WordPerfect or Word. Um, you can even make text large by making it a header. Now, once you edit the content of a page, simply click Update. And as soon as it gives you confirmation that it's updated, if you go to that page, we'll go to the About Us page on your website, you will see that the changes have taken effect. See here? This change that we did and this change that we did has taken effect. So. You can see it's very easy. Let's go ahead and change that back to the, the way it was. You can see it's very easy to edit your website now yourself anytime you see fit. Also, you can create new pages. So let's say you want to create a page um, showcasing uh, some coupons or create a page um, talking about different um, other different websites that you may want to promote. Uh, you could have a page for service inquiries. And if you want to add any new pages, it's really simple. Just click on Add New. Put the title of your page here, whatever you want in the content using the visual editor, and click Publish. When you click Publish, I've set up the website to automatically add all new pages up here. So a new link will appear right up here of the new page that you just created. So that all you have to do is create the page, and the website will automatically update, and the page will go up here very very simple. Now you see here um, let's say let's go ahead and now let me show you how to edit the products of your website. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll click on this. Let's say we want to edit this product. Very simple. Uh, right now this is the product page. This is the picture if you click on it. Larger view. Also different variations, different pictures of the same product. You can select your size, add it to cart. Okay, You'll see that your cart is now updated. You have one item. We'll click on checkout. You see what is in your cart. If you have a discount code, and I'll show you how to create special coupons and discount codes, you can enter it here. And then you click checkout. And then you simply follow through the checkout process. And I have this set up uh, through your PayPal um, and that's already ready to go. See PayPal all major credit cards. So you can accept orders right now but let's go ahead and go back and show how to edit a product. So let's go ahead and find this product. One more thing on all of your product pages um, what I've done is I put a print icon and email this item to your friend and a share link if someone wants to share this on one of their uh, social network accounts and basically that's just an attempt to possibly get you some extra traffic you know if somebody wants to email this to a friend or share it on, an, on an, another website it's very easy to do so and also if they want to print this out they can let's go ahead and find this product all you do is you go to manage products find the product that you want to edit which would be this click edit and you can see it's really very simple. Just like editing a page, you can edit your product. Um, there's just some extra options that I'll go over with you. So just like editing a page, you can edit your product description here, edit your product name here, assign it to a specific category right here. And then what you do is you want to go down here to the product images and add your product images. Now product image, this first one is what is displayed here and all additional images will be underneath it. And all you do simply is just click choose file. Um, find the product, we'll use this one. Find the picture of the product that you want to add and we'll just as an example use that. And then what you do is edit the price. For example, I set this at 19. And here's a nice little neat feature. If you want to run a sale, say you want to run a sale um, uh, from now until next week, you can select when your sale ends and then put the sale price. And what will happen is the website will actually display the sales price 
up until the date that you select and then once it reaches that date it'll revert back to the original price very nice little feature weight you can leave this empty but if you plan on charging your shipping based by weight you want to make sure you put the most accurate weight there so that um, you don't accidentally uh, you know charge the wrong amount for weight is this taxable you can either select yes or no and also the sizes now small medium large and if you want to add a new one simply click add new we can do extra large and any changes you make here always click set changes color right now we have no color variations but let's say you wanted to add blue let's say you wanted to add red and we'll remove this third one that was accident click set changes apply limited stock do you want to show how many you have in stock on the website so if you show for example 10 if you select yes and do 10 what will happen is it'll show here how many you have in stock and as people order it'll deduct and once it reaches zero that product will not be able to be ordered on your website until you replenish your stock my suggestion is just keep that default you don't want to uh, have that display on your website um, and so pretty much once you set all of the parameters of your product you simply go up here again you can select the category the product falls under leave all of these uh, extra areas post tags and featured images you can leave those as they are click update once you click update you can go here and let's refresh the page and now you see that the changes that we just did have taken effect look we added a new size extra large we also added the color description and we have the additional picture um, and we can delete that later so now you can see all the changes we just did took effect so it's really very easy to manage your products let's go ahead and let's take this image of the computer out we'll go ahead and save again and you can see that the changes take effect immediately after you click update. So there we go. Um, so as you can see, Alfred, very simple to manage products. Adding a product is really just as easy. Simply click on add product. And like adding new pages, you put the title, the content, such as the description of the product will go here. Select the category it falls under and upload your images set your price set the weight any size options you can set here and then once you're done click update uh, excuse me publish and once you add a add a product and click publish it will automatically go in the appropriate category you designated on the website manage orders is once you start getting orders these are some test orders i did once you start getting orders they will be displayed here you can click on any name, or excuse me, let's go back. Um, you can click on any name, and that will give you the parameters. Uh, pending is because the order hasn't been placed yet. But when it's complete, you can click on any name and see all the parameter details, how they ordered, what method they used to pay, what they ordered, what the total amount was. Payment options is if you want to set your payment options to something other than PayPal um, right now we have it as PayPal. I've also added these additional options for you if you ever want to use authorized net or if you want to do uh, COD to check out bank transfer you can set all of these but for now we're just using PayPal. Um, manage shipping how you want to manage your shipping either free shipping or flat rate price based shipping or weight. I'll allow you to choose if you want something other than free shipping and then manage coupons really neat feature you can set up coupons here such as friends will give a percentage of 15 percent off any order or special will take a hundred dollars off any order now when somebody goes through the checkout process um, when they're prompted to enter a discount code if they enter either friends or special they'll get a discount and this is a nice way of you managing your coupons so I set this up so you can run specials anytime you like 
And that really concludes the video of how to manage your website, Alfred. I'm sure you'll have no problem um, moving forward. If you do need any help, feel free to email me. Um, and that concludes this video. Thank you so much for the opportunity to do this website for you, Alfred, and I wish you a lot of success. Goodbye.